Hello, my name is Yara Willard from Harmonic Arts Botanical Dispensary on Vancouver Island. And today I happen to be in the Kootenays in them, and I am harvesting some wild sarsaparilla. So yeah, this is a powerful plant that's in the ginseng family. In fact, it looks very similar to a ginseng. It has a similar type berry that looks like so. Although when it's fully mature, as these ones aren't completely, they turn that dark purple color. They come off of a stem on a plant. Let's see if we can find one right here. That looks like so. This is a wild sarsaparilla. Now, I'll just pull this one up a little bit. You can see that it has three parts that come up. I've got three stems, and on that there are five leaves. One, two, three, four, five, and then three sets of five. So usually 15 leaves in total um, coming off this plant. Now, why do we want this? Well, all the plants in this family, the Aurelia family, there's a lot of them that are quite potent medicines. So I really like this one because it's got a real tonic effect and it's quite abundant. So here in the Kootenays, there are mountains and mountains of this plant. So it's also most commonly um, one of the main ingredients in root beer. So most of you've had root beer before, you might have had sarsaparilla if you've had a real traditional root beer. So this plant, as I said, is a tonic herb. It's got alternative properties, meaning that it's helpful for cleansing the blood. It also works as a diaphoretic and a diuretic, um, meaning that it helps pull toxins out of the body that way. The natives have used it for many, many, many different uses, including as a wild food, and especially the root bark here is used, and you can chew it, it has like a bit of a sweet, spicy, pungent type flavor. It's not too bad. Often it was cooked as a pot herb kind of thing, done in a pot, decoction style, hence root beer came to be. But really what it's um, good for is giving you a little more stamina and energy and drive. So if you're going out on the hunt, this might be a good food for you to kind of eat along the way in order to have that stamina and drive without a lot of food in your system. So great plant, really awesome medicinal ally. And yeah, in the Aurelia family, like the Devil's Club, the Ginsengs, a lot of these other tonic alternative type plants. So you'll find that there is a ton of uses for it, including itchy skin, things for inflammation, uh, helping as a stomach tonic, helping just to cleanse and clear the body. So. That's wild sarsaparilla, and once again, it's got five leaves that come off in sets of three, like so. And it has a nice little purple type flower that looks like this. So we're going to harvest this root bark. And basically to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to dig down, and it goes about five inches into the ground, and then it goes sideways along. So if you get your hands right underneath that five inches, you can pull it up and then pull it all the way along. And these roots will grow like... 18 feet long and they'll pop up with other little sarsaparillas all along the way. So just take a quick one and see if we can do this. Get this right underneath here. And I'm going to take this root and pull it along. So I've got one side. Oh, that's as much as I got out of this one. But then I'm just going to pop off this top. The whole plant can be used, but really the root bark is the most powerful, potent part. And it's the outside part of the root. So inside of it, we're gonna have kind of a central part that we don't use, so we'll just peel this off, and then we'll either make a decoction with it after we've cleaned it, or we'll turn it into a tincture. Now, because it has that potent chemistry, we're gonna to wanna to go with a 40, 50% alcohol, or if this is fresh and there's water concentration still in it, we might even go up to like a 70% alcohol to turn this into a tincture. All right, thanks for joining me. I'm Yarrow from Harmonic Arts, and I hope you get out and find some sarsaparilla. Have a good day.